So we can just start off be like, yeah, I've watched Seed before. Yep. Three, two, one. All right. So if you saw our last video, guys, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for all the views that you've been giving us on YouTube. Uh, we hit 11,000 in our last video so far uh, for the Gundam Seed Freedom, well, basically, uh, spoiler, mobile suit leak. So thank you that for all the support. Um, I had to make another video because I think what we learned is that we're just we're just gonna get spoiled anyways, and it already shot through TikTok and Facebook and everything. So, I mean, might as well share our thoughts now at this point, and might as well spoil some stuff. So, anyways, I'm with my uh, I'm with my friend Archer here. Uh, hello, we're hello. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be going over just about the spoilers for Gundam Seed Freedom. But before even that, though, like, what? I guess in a way, Archer, like, have you watched Seed, and what are your thoughts on Gundam Seed, like, you know, as a whole, like, what? Because like, we've been waiting for like. 13 years for this shit so yeah i watched seed as a kid too on white tv i thought it was really good seed is actually one of the animes that got me into gundam just mm. like seen on white tv so like hearing that like they made a movie was kind of like brought nostalgia back you know like i kind of hyped you know it was like childhood memories and stuff coming so i was kind of hyped about it and like looking through the spoilers and i hope we see some more yeah no i i agree with you 100 like i think seed is you know for a lot of us besides gundam wing uh, was probably probably one of the biggest things that came to the West, and I know it was on Cartoon Network, uh, Toonami, whatever, and uh, even games. A lot of games came out for it, so oh hell yeah, uh, it was it was popular. And again, for us, when we watched Seed, I think I watched like I was listening to Gundam Seed songs when I was in like fourth grade. I think it's something like that, sixth grade, like yeah, middle very school. young. Man. Yeah, very young. I was listening to the song Reason by Nami something 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 whatever. Uh, the ending oh, song. So, for so I was super into that. Um, so Gundam Seed for us, it, it's definitely a childhood, and I think this was something that we all been waiting for for such a long time, just because, uh, you know, like, with Seed Destiny, don't get me wrong, Seed Destiny was good for a little bit, and, I mean, whatever the drama, whatever happened towards the end, it just, it was trash. Like, overall, it just did really poorly, yeah. I don't know what happened, like, I didn't know what they were doing, and, and we were just waiting for 13 years of bitterness of how crappy the ending was. And we were just like, damn, like, what the hell happened? You know, it's like, well, we, what are we, what did we just watch? And, like, is this ever coming back? But the crazy thing was that year they did have a movie announced. They, I think it was, like, it was in Japan. Like, Sony announced it that Gundam Seed was going to be a movie. But they canceled it basically halfway through. And uh, we got Gundam Double O movie instead. And, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think that's like that's on Reddit. I don't know how accurate the information is. So we lost a Gundam Seed movie and instead got Double O. Yeah, Holy they shit. got Double O instead because I think Gundam Double O was pretty popular, so they just went with Gundam. Yeah, Double it was. Instead. It was good. But I think it might also because of the uh, director's wife because she is basically the writer of the Gundam Seed uh, franchise. So oh, I damn. think because of that, that was, she was like ill. So like I think because of that, the Gundam Seed movie was probably on hold. I think. Um, so oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it was kind of sad for the most part. But when we finally got the announcement, like a couple of years ago, it was uh, it was exciting for a lot of us. So I, I think this was definitely worth it. Um, so again, everyone who's watching, spoilers ahead. If you want to turn down turn now but i think you're probably gonna watch it eventually so you might as well just watch this video so nah, who cares it. just watch it yeah, just watch it anyway it's too late <laughs> <laughs> so uh i want to say thank you to gun and pixel for sending us the spoilers there's a lot here so i think we can do like a little russian lurette i think it'd be kind of funny uh how do you want to do it archer do you want to do the spoilers first here or do you want to just look up the summary uh let's look through some spoilers, spoilers for the summary okay so we have the spoilers yeah. here so we'll start off with this one right here Okay, and I'm sure yeah. a lot of you guys have questions uh, when you watch this video, so hopefully we can answer each one. All right, here's the first one. The question is, was there a post credit scene? Okay, it's pretty easy. No, at least not in the initial theater, theater release. Final scene, on the beach, then straight, standard credits sequence. Okay, so it, just, it was a pretty happy ending. It is meh. Yeah, that's kind of meh. It's okay, like, I don't, I don't care too much. Yeah, yeah kind of meh. And it's like a, that's more of a marvel thing yeah yeah, yeah. so it's like <laughs> it's kind of okay with us and i think anime does a very good job in like not doing post credit scenes because sometimes it's okay not to do post credit scenes i think it's okay when you just have a really good ending and you um i've already seen spoilers and obviously we you watched it too it's just like i think with the dramatic like finale epic sequence like fight like that you don't need a post credit yeah. scene for that that's just like 
you gave us a lot right there and it was pretty amazing so i'll keep it at that okay so were there any flashback scenes quite a few brief ones a few second ones good news is that most were uh redrawn in the movie style so that's pretty cool okay and lots with duran duran nodal who's that guy yeah duran nodal i don't know who else that sounds really is cool. it the headless guy uh is that's that randall i don't know I want to look him up, see what he is. Uh, they're, uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, like, oh, is it the, it's not Gilbert, is it? Let me see. Uh, let me look it up really quickly. Okay, so yeah, it's the Gilbert guy. That's really interesting. Cause, so I guess this guy really has a really big role in this movie. Or they just really want to use the voice actor. Because, you know, he's the voice of Char. So, I mean, they just you know want to employ this guy. So, I'm okay with that too. That's not a problem. Okay, and the next one I'm going to... Here. Next question. Next one. Does Luckus pilot a mobile suit? Okay, we've probably seen the spoilers on this. Uh, this is some Donnie yep. and the Frank shit. So yes, in a way, she pilots the upgrade for the Strike Freedom, then shares the Strike Freedom's cockpit with Kira. Eh, uh, you know, she looks kind of good, you know? She's thick. Oh yeah, dude. She was, she was <laughs> great. The leak photo was real, though, so I think a lot of people saw the leak yeah. photo of it, so... I didn't want to believe it, but I was like, eh, whatever. I think it's fine. And it, it worked out. It was okay. Um, okay, so we just go here. Oh, it looks like there's more. Let's look at the next one. Um, uh, what was Fukuda's intention as director of the movie? Not really a spoiler? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, paraphrased, but he said that the rather than a great movie for the ages, he wanted to create something fans would enjoy, be thrilled by, and laugh. Oh, we definitely got that. <laughs> He also yeah. made the money gesture with his hand when referring to Bandai's intentions. Oh, that's oh funny. Oh my, good classic Ben, dude. That is funny. So he basically <laughs> just made fun of it. He's like, yeah, we're just trying to get, take money from you. But, yeah, so it was just fan service. Yeah, so we got that. and it was, But it was really funny, though, because, uh, again, in the movie, um, there's just some wild scenes where, like, I mean, we'll get into it later in a little bit, but it, it's funny. So I, was, I had a good laugh, and I wish it, if I watched it, I mean, I feel like once it gets to the States... I think a lot of people will enjoy it. They'll just be like, what the fuck? But it'll be freaking great, you know? Uh, I just hope it's not in dub. Okay. What happens to the rising freedom and well, justice? Um... They get obliterated at different times. Ripped apart. Okay. So we kind of knew that was coming. <laughs> and yeah. to be fair, I don't think anyone really liked them anyway. So that was my... Yeah, who cares? Yeah. And I was like, well, that's going to you know, die off. So I didn't think that was a thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, how about those characters' lips from the trailers? Get used to them, <laughs> love them, embrace them, because they're everywhere or not. Your choice. Okay, so... Yeah, starts, though. You that's know, just funny. Little bit. Yeah, because I think the lips, basically, in his style is like... Oh, they're, um... What is it? Like, they're basically just saying that... Like, they're just matured as women, right? So I feel like that's yeah. kind of what it looks like. Okay, alright, next one here. Is there a final boss? Yes, Orphe and Ingrid dual pilot an epic, ornate white and gold mobile suit. We saw that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty epic. So that was like another yeah, Donald Frank's kind of shit too. I think. What'd you think about it? I think it looked pretty cool. I like the wings aesthetic. Uh, it reminded me a lot of, lot of like the the Wing Zero. Yeah. But just zero. but just very flush though. It looked very bright. You know, it looked the uh, almost godly, heavenly like you know. Mm -hmm. I agree, and that was kind of like that with the Strike Freedom too. So it was like both suit the same color, just fucking. Yeah, Blasting it very together. suited. It suited the theme and what they're trying to go for. I think yeah. they hit it. And I just hope eventually, like once we get these spoilers, but I think one of the questions is like, what's their intention? Because like I didn't really get the idea of them fighting. I don't know. Maybe we'll, like we'll go through the questions and maybe there'll be something. Maybe the summary will tell us. Yeah, I mean, it might sound. It sounds like the same thing if it's going by Gilbert's thing. Here you go. Yeah. Right, right? Dirica and Isaac. They appear and pilot the duel and Buster Gundams with each meteor. Ooh, okay. So they have a meteor unit too, looks like. Isaac's I guess mom so. also makes a brief appearance. Oh, his mom? That's funny. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm okay with that. All right, next one here. The, any of the classic music track play in the movie? TM's Revolution, Meteor plays, and the key scene, and choked me up a bit. Ooh, nice. And I think we Ooh, saw that, right? Yeah, that's, that's really fun. good. Yeah, I think we did see that. Were we just Yeah, that was the final scene. I think we were all fucking singing it a second ago. I well, these old, uh, old Gundam songs are really good. Oh, I know. Does the music track Freedom play in the movie? Oh, yes, in the first action scene leading up to the logo splash. Oh, that's crazy. That's a pretty good one. 
the, the new song, the Freedom song. Okay, let's look here. Next one. Does Shin get much screen time? A lot. Here's much more chills here, but still Shin, he gets slapped and beat up a lot for the comedic <laughs> effect. He kicks ass in both Gundams he pilots. Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, because yeah, I think overall with Shin's character, like, I feel like he, they did him really dirty in Destiny, like... Yeah, he, he wasn't he wasn't a man, you know? He felt, like, really uh, feminine and shit. Yeah. I like, felt oh, scared. <laughs> Powered. Yeah, no, I think so, too. It's just, like, it's just, he just, I don't know, they just did him dirty. Because he was supposed to be the main character in Destiny, and then I don't know what happened. They just were like, okay, never mind, he's a bad guy now, and, you know, Kira's the main character again. He, like, stole the show, basically. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, you really did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the next one right here. Uh, the next question is: Is Orphe really that bad? Okay, well, he pushes Luckus onto a bed, pulls down her top, and gropes her breast. She stays Wait, still awake, and then she cr and then cries after he leaves. Oh man, that's wild. So he borderline R's her, basically. I'm not gonna use the word because I use. Yeah, it, but I got. Gotta Damn. see that scene sometime. Actually, I did see that scene. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was, like, when I watched it. Really? It was kind of stupid. Or if it was just like, I don't know what he was doing, but long of the story short, Lockus basically talks to, like, talks to him, uses her seed mode and talks to him, and talks mm -hmm. down on him, basically. It's kind of stupid. What the hell? Yeah, but I, I don't know. Like, so, yeah, I guess he's a pretty shitty person, I guess. <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> Right. This is like Shen from Fate. Shinji. Oh, no. I hate oh, Shinji. My God. He's the oh, worst, dude. Why yeah. does that guy even exist? I hate that character so much. Good thing he died in the, the Heaven's Fool. Oh, my lord. Oh, I know, right? Oh, man. That was like, satisfying. Okay, here's the next one. Anything about Othron and Kage? So, this is a big question. I think a lot of us were wondering because I think in Destiny, we weren't even sure if they were a couple or not, right? Like, I think when we watched it, we were just like, okay, so they're together or not, you know? Uh, like, what do you guys feel about uh, Kagari and Author and like Destiny? Do you guys feel like they broke up, or what was your thoughts? I think they're just teasing, like teasing the relationship, but not actually together. Oh uh, yeah, it's like it's kind of like the thing. It's like, oh my god, hurry up and fucking kiss, but they never do. Yeah. What about you, Sets? What do you think? Um, I have no clue. All right, I don't well, even know what you guys are talking about. I just woke up. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, well, we're, we're... Yeah, anyways. We'll keep going. Uh, probably no more at the spoilers. Yeah, and then, so... They don't have too many scenes together, but they have a very lovely short scene at the end of the movie. I saw that, and it was actually really, really cute. So, yes, I think it was worth it. So, basically, long story short, they're together still. Uh, They established that by showing each other's uh, rings. So, like, on their <laughs> necklaces. So, I mean, it's kind of confirmed. And, obviously, that scene we saw with, you know with the lewd scene so it's pretty obvious right so it kind of makes sense oh yeah. so we have a few more spoilers where we should be almost done how about moo and Muru? Muru, Muri, Muri. uh they have a happy ending and enjoy a proper kiss at the ship's bridge nice oh just, that's good i wonder how much akoski scenes we get with them though because i i heard the akoski is also in the movie so that would be good <laughs> Do Kira and Lockus live together? Yes, in the same apartment. Kira comes home, puts a blanket on sleeping Lockus. Then she wakes and does vice versa. Huh, okay. Let's see this one. Uh, did Shin really have a sword? He tried his hand dueling one of the Black Knight squad and lost. Kira didn't want Lost to it, Shin. That sounds about right. Well, even yeah. in Destiny, I think Shin had the sword, but then in Destiny, he had the gun. So, that's not too far off what he would do. No. Fancy a Fukuda tidbit about Othran's mobile suit. It was originally going to be an Ekai, but then Bill Fighters used it, so they chose the Z Zagok. Did they? Bill Fighters? I didn't know that. That's why they didn't do Ekai? Because Ekai would have been funny, but... That would have been super funny. Wait, when did they use an Ekai yeah. in Bill Fighters? I thought they used the Dom. I thought that's what it was. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, I guess they kind of... Oh, you're talking about the bear guy. I guess maybe. I guess they wanted something different. It was funny though, because like the Zagok basically just like a shark Zagok. I was like, it's just a shark Zagok. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a, that was a funny spoiler. I really like that. That was so funny. That was just so random. Oh my god. Wait, Othman, what does he pilot? He he makes his debut mobile suit appearance with a red Zagok. Shar style kicks ass with more later in the movie. <laughs> so it was based off Shar then. Basically, they probably just did yeah. him. Any other mobile suits back in the day? Strike Freedom gets a major upgrade. Akuski or Aversion has some wild load up setup. That sounds cool. I want to see that. Have game. we seen that? 
I don't think I saw that yet. I didn't oh, see shit, any. Uh, I didn't see any spoilers about that yet uh, online. But the Akuski is one of my favorite for sure. That's like my top three favorite Gundam Seed and mobile suits. So I would like to see that in the in the yeah, movie. That'll be a nice treat. And also many classic grunts. Nice. So we have the grunts and everything too. All right, here we go. So many, including Impulse Spec 2. So the Impulse is back. We all knew that was coming. The Destiny yeah, we Gundam saw them. came back. That was sick. The only difference, I think, for the Destiny Gundam was just the V-Fin. And it was just great. But That's good. That didn't I'm change it too it. much. You know, honestly, yeah. I think Bandai can make a quick buck off the Destiny Gundam easily. All they have oh, to do is sure. put Destiny Gundam Spec 2 and then just change the color of the V-Fin. <laughs> and that's it. And people will still fucking buy it. I guarantee you. Or make a Probably. metal build of it and just color the beef. <laughs> That's all they did. Bro, those charge like 500 for that. Oh, the metal build, right? oh my god. Dude, the metal build is sick. I love the Destiny Gun and metal builds. They're so good. Yeah. I need to do that easily. And then the Buster Gundam with the Meteor and Dual Gundam with the Meteor. So, yeah, they all have Meteors. It's pretty insane. Okay, three more. Here we go. What mobile suit does Shin pilot? Shin is the Immortal Justice pilot. So, we kind of, that was kind of like the thing we all figured out, I think. So the yeah, we kind of knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus the OG Destiny with a little upgrade. With the Kagebushi no Jitsu upgrade. So that was really cool. <laughs> that was freaking insane. How about... The animation was great. Aginus, does she make it all the way through? She survives. Luna offers her a second chance at the end of the movie. Okay, that's like the new girl, I think. Uh, I think you find out she's like a traitor. From what I've seen. And then I guess... That shit will rot. Yeah, and then Luna basically offers, you know... Spares her just like you know, Authorun did technically in the uh, Destiny movie or show. All right, last one. First, does everyone or anyone major die? All the classics cast survive, no deaths, new enemies. Dot 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 dot. I wonder what that means. Well, anyways, mm. okay, so everyone survives for the most part. But I did hear you know, the in Destiny, the the Tri Stars, the fucking Dom uh, characters, whatever. I think so. Wait, the two, are they three? Like, yeah, three the three, yeah, the three Doms. So they say, I think they said two of them die, which is the guys, and then the girl survives, I think. Oh, that's fine. They said gun the movie. People should be dying. I know, that's the whole point, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, this is from Zionic um, translation. So here's a little bit about the summary of this spoiler. But I don't think we need to get into that. So I think we kind of covered all like the base ground. But if you want to read this, I'll put the link below. And anyways, thanks so much for watching. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for all the support. And any last thoughts? Uh, go freedom. Go freedom. Hey, I was watching that.